Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm just back from the lake. Now I did two small sessions this weekend. Um, I did a two hour session on Saturday and I did a morning session on Sunday. So on Saturday, I went down just before dark. A subscriber to the channel, Luke Byrne is his name. He sent me out some of his flies that he tied up. Now I really appreciate that Luke. It was a really nice gesture that he did. Um, if I can do anything like that to promote Irish fly tires at all in any way, I will do my best. It's a really nice gesture. I know how much hard work goes into tying flies and the fact that you went through the hassle of sending them out to me. It's really sound. Fair play, Luke. Um, so I used Luke's flies for a small session on Saturday evening. Um, I had a brown trout and a rainbow trout. A brown trout took the green apt worm, just twitching it back in. And rainbow took a humongous, twitching it back in. Both caught on Luke's flies. Um, then it got dark, so I went back down Sunday morning where there was a, a fly fishing competition on. It was like a regional competition. And the lads were all around the lake. So they had one half of the lake closed off for the lads doing the competition. And the other side of the lake was open to public fishing. So I was up there with the lads on the public fishing lake. Um, we were all fishing. Well, from what I could see, everyone around the lake was using uh, a bung. Everyone was catching whatever was caught, uh, was being caught on a bung with two egg flies underneath. I did see one or two lads catching on a squirmy worm and also on buzzers. But the only way I could catch them um, today in the morning session was fishing the static eggs right under the bung. So I had the bung and a foot underneath it, I was using a, a green egg and then another foot underneath that, I was using just a simple orange egg. I was fishing them on my nine foot, five weight rod, floating line, just flicking it out in front of the cruising fish. Um, the water is crystal clear and it was freezing cold. Um, this time of year, you know, you're going to have to fish static to get bites. Um, obviously, the water's going to start heating up soon. They'll switch back onto the lures. Well, that's just how I see it anyway. I don't know. Everyone has their own methods for doing this sort of thing. But that's um, that's what worked for me today. Um, I didn't too, do too much speaking to the camera in this video, guys, simply because the lake was busy. And the last thing people want to hear is me chatting away to a camera while they're trying to relax and do a bit of fly fishing, you know take their mind off life for a few hours and um, they don't want to be listening to me chatting to a camera so I'll put the footage together from Saturday and Sunday session in after this clip and um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video I'm um, it's basically just going to be me fishing simple as that no editing at all raw footage just to get something out and um, if you enjoyed today's video lads don't forget leave a like it really helps out drop a comment and um, it helps to boost the videos Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, I appreciate all the support with the channel, lads. It's class. Big plans for this year. We're going to have the boat back in the water next month. We're going to be back out in Loch Derg, fishing for pike and trout and perch. I'm um, with loads of trips around Ireland planned for this year. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, what's going on? So I've been doing the videos for a while now, and we've managed to build up a bit of a community. So I replied to all the comments. Um, people are always leaving on the videos. And someone was nice enough to reach out, someone who ties their own flies, um, sent me out a package full of all different patterns for rainbows and brown trout. Uh, Luke Byrne is his name. So a big shout out to Luke. Um, he didn't even ask for and he just said, give him a go and see how you get on. So I replied and I said, of course, I'll try to catch a few fish in them in the video. So that's what we're doing today. We are down at Lee Shangman Center, um, trying to catch a few rainbows. Uh, had a bit of a late start, so we have about two hours to catch a few fish. Um, I've no doubt they're going to catch a few fish. Um, if you're interested in picking up a few flies, guys, I'll leave Luke's details in the comments or in the description of this video. Um, it's nice to support things like that. Um, tying flies is a bit of an art, um, especially to have a, a young Irish guy tying flies, which is pretty cool. Um, I've done a few videos on the channel already of using other people's flies, and uh, it's nice to help out whenever I can. So I'm going to get out here, see if I can pick up a few fish. I've only got about two hours, so if you can get one or two fish, that'll be enough. So stay tuned. Oh. 
No. Oh. Hi guys, lovely brownie and Luke's flies. Get released. Oh, good stuff. No, that fish took the squirmy worm. Or no, the apt worm. Green apt worm. Two legs on him. Just twitching it back in. Now we'll get back out and see if we can get another one. Back yeah. Oh, is that why it was reinforced? Is it? We go into a rock. Jesus Christ. Really slow. Really slow. <laughs> Doesn't help, does it? Oh yes. I changed the retrieve a bit. It's some more of a jerky one. I guess it is. No. Holy fish. Ah. Off he goes. One off a bit of crack. Yeah. Ah, uh, we pick it up now again, not it? There's one. Very hey, small. The fly in the top as well. There he goes. Finally. I know it's great, that's it. A small bit of a better fight off this one. So. The deep one. Really fucking shorty, is it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a big school of them here. Should I try an egg and a boss? There's one. Buzzer. Yes. Put him there, there's a school room. Oh, the net's always so far away. It's 
giving a good fight. Any better? No, I just giving a good fight as well. It's nice to feel it. Yeah. He took the green egg this time. Green egg. This one, the other, the other lad took the orange one. Oh, you were fishing too? Yeah. No. Lovely little fish. <laughs> Release himself. Oh yeah. And uh, we used to get great fish. Like generally speaking, where you get a, a confluence of fresh water onto the beach. That's yeah. Where you get and the surf as well, right isn't it? In the surf, yeah. The third breaker. Is what they say. There you go. Yay. Yeah. I wasn't even looking when that left okay. I'll get this lad in. You're all get pulled in. <laughs> Isn't it better? That was a bit deeper now. Let's get one hook. What the hell? No. There we go. There's the egg in the corner of his mouth. See if we can get out. There we go. <laughs> Lovely fish. Gotta get her back. Back she was. Blast him. Yeah. He took the green one. And the green one. It's expensive for the um, gig. <laughs> it is. It's always something you want. No, he's getting smaller. Yeah. No, See you there. 